morning mga engineers at welcome ulit sa Engineer JD YouTube channel and for this video so babalik ulit tayo sa basics ng reinforced concrete design so hindi yun yung topic natin ngayon so for this video so i-discuss natin paano kunin yung strength yung moment capacity ng isang singly reinforced beam okay So, at the example natin, so without further ado, let's now start solving this problem, okay? So, this one, so meron tayong beam, so 500 depth, 500 mm by 250 mm in width. So, meron tayong pinakalan siya in tension, so this is our tension side, pinakalan ng apat na 16 mm bars. So, FC prime, the strength of concrete is 30 megapascals. The strength of steel, the yield strength, is 415. The clear cover is 40 mm, and we have the diameter 10, so 10 mm ang stirrups natin. Okay, so pinapahanap sa atin what is the moment capacity of this beam. So basically, ang tinatanong sa atin what is the value of V mm. Yan. Okay. So for this, so for this problem, so for Simply reinforced beams, so standard lang yung procedures natin. So let's start. Okay. So paano natin ko kuna niyan? First, let's now get the beta one. Okay, beta one. So beta one is dependent on the value of F C prime. So based sa N S C P 2015, so based sa National Structural Code. So equal daw siya sa point eighty five. Pag ang FC prime natin is less than or equal to 28 megapascals and and this value beta 1 pag lumagpas siya ng ng 28 megapascals it varies linearly so varies linearly it drops every 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 megapascal in excess of 28 so babagsak siya ng 0.05 over 7 okay So F C prime minus twenty eight. So that is the formula for beta one. And of course, this part, the one greater than twenty eight, dapat always greater than point sixty five. Okay. So this is the minimum for for this case. Okay. So now, kung titingnan natin yung given, so F C prime is thirty megapascals, which is greater than twenty eight megapascals. So obviously, this one ang gawin natin natin. So 0.85 minus 0.05 over 7 times 30 megapascals minus 28. Okay, so we will get 0.0. Okay, 0.8357 as the value of beta one. Kuha natin po. Okay, so next, nakuha natin si beta one. The next one that we'll get will Okay, is the value of C. So the value of C actually, we derive it, no, using equilibrium equations. Naten, so sa equilibrium equation naten, we have tension equals compression. So tension equals compression. The tension side is being provided by the tension steel. So dito inaassume naten that the tension concrete has no effect. Is it in tension ngasa? Eh, weak ang concrete sa tension. So dito, ina-assume natin that only that tension steel carries the load. Okay? So dito, AS, di ba? Area of the steel times the stress in the steel equals uh, the area of the concrete part times the stress in the concrete. Okay? Now this one, area of the concrete, it's taken as the width of the beam times The value of C. The value of A. Ayan. The value of A. And the value of FC, the stress in concrete is usually taken as 0.85 FC prime. So 0.85 ng 28 day compressive strength niya. Now A, now A is the depth of the compressive block. Now it is related to the distance of this extreme concrete. Compression fiber from the neutral axis of this of this beam, so it is related using the formula A equals to beta one times C. Okay, 
Now, if we solve for yeah, if we solve for C here, so actually the formula becomes A S F S over 0.85 F C prime beta 1 times B. Okay? So now, dito, sa case na to, let's consider the first case, eh, assume muna natin na nag-yield. So, assume yield muna. Assume yield. So, assume natin na nag-yield muna si tension still. So, which means, pag nag-yield siya, Fs is equal to Fy. So, Fy is the yield strength. Okay? So, As, As is the area, total area of the steel reinforcement. So, that apat na 16. So, 4 pi over 4, 16 squared, times Fs, sabi ko nga, assume F prime, assume Fy, all over, 0.85, times Fc prime, Fc prime is 30, beta 1 is, nakuha na natin, 0.8357, times B, which is 250. Okay? So, you got here, so the value of C, is 62.648 62.648 millimeters ayan so now nakuha na natin yung value ng C next natin kunin is bago natin mag proceed dyan let's get first the value of D so D is the effective depth of this beam so basically so from the centroid so okay so from the centroid of the bar layer so in this case nasa sentro ng baka natin so papunta sa top so papunta sa extreme compression concrete so yun yung distance na yan this is called the effective depth D okay so now paano natin kukunin yan so may kita nyo siya from from inspection so from the total depth ilam natin the total depth 500 mapapansin natin meron siyang concrete cover sa ilalim na 40 mm tama so 40 mm then after niyan meron tayong bakal dito nakapaikot tawag dyan ay stirrups so dito meron tayong 10 mm na stirrups dito so 10 mm ipawis din natin yan minus sabi ko nga papunta sa sentro ng bakal natin tama dito in this case kalahate ng diameter ng steel reinforcement natin. So, 16 over 2. Ayan. So, if I na, so, subtract natin lahat dyan, so, magiging 442 millimeters. Kuha natin. Okay. So, finally, ah, uh, siya, hindi pa finally. So, now, nakuha na natin si value ng D. Let's now get the value of Fs. So, verify na natin yung value ng stress natin sa steel okay so the stress in the steel actually you can get it from stress strain relationship dito i-assume ina-assume natin that the strain okay base of hold yan base of hold the strain is the is the strain in the steel is e epsilon s so which is equal of course to fs over the modulus of elasticity of the steel now on the concrete part, in assume sa code, no, that the strain at concrete at failure is 0 0.003. Yan. So now, dito, simple ratio and proportion tayo dyan. Okay? Then, makukuha natin yung strain relationship and you'll get also the stress relationship. So, which is 600 times D minus C over C. Okay? So, dito, substitute na natin. So, 600 times 442 minus uh, 62.648 over 62.648. Okay? So, you'll get, so, pag pinasok natin yan sa calcium, so, you'll get something like 3,633 megapascals. So, may kita natin, 3633 megapascals. So, meron tayong, ito nga ko ang stress still, which is, certainly, is greater than Fy. So, ibig sabihin, di ba, originally, inassume natin na nag-yield. Tama, na nag-yield si steel. Now, na-verify natin na 
greater than f y siya. So, na-verify natin na tama yung assumption natin na nag-yield talaga siya. Check. Okay? Now, once na hindi nag-yield yung steel, kailangan mong baguhin. Kailangan natin bumalik doon sa equation natin. So, this one is not equal anymore to f y pag hindi nag-yield yung steel natin. Okay? Now, another one is that greater than siya sa 1,000 megapascals. Okay? So, well, greater than 1,000 siya. So, ibig sabihin, the strength reduction factor phi is equal to 0.9. Automatic. Okay? Ibig sabihin lang yan, pag greater than 1,000 ang, ang stress natin sa steel, ibig sabihin, tension controlled yung ano natin, yung beam natin. Okay? Now, if we divide this by 200,000, dito nyo makikita that yung equivalent strain na, strain na the steel, is equal to 0 0.005. So, makikita niya. So, ibig sabihin, pag ang strain is lumagpas dito, ng 0 0.005, ibig sabihin, tension controlled yung beam natin. So, V equals 0.9. But less than 0.5, but greater than yung, yung yield strain natin. So, yung epsilon y so x sabihin it's transition control and there is a formula for it so pag calculate ng transition control strength reduction factor pero uh, hindi siya actually advisable na maging transition control sa design no and also ang focus natin ngayon is of course yung tension control beams natin okay so now so pure ko lang to Okay, so yun na. So nakuha na natin that Fs is Fy. So nag-tension control talaga siya. So ibig sabihin, so let's now calculate now. Finally, the strength reduction factor phi mn. So the reduction factor phi mn, so it's equal to phi times the stress, the total force in the steel. So A is Fy. Actually, we can get this as Fs. Para mag general tayo. A is Fs times D minus A over 2. Yeah, so this is the general formula for singly reinforced beams. Okay? So, phi, nakuha na natin siya. That's 0.9 in our case. Okay? AS, so total area ng steel, so apat na 16 mm, 5 over 4, 16 squared, times FS. FS is, nakuha na natin, tension controlled FY. So, 415, okay? times the top the effective depth is 442 then a so sabi ko nga sa discussion kanina so a is equal to beta 1 times c so beta 1 nakuha na natin siya kanina so beta 1 so kunin muna natin a is beta 1 c so beta 1 is nakuha na natin kanina which is 0.8357 C, nakuha na rin natin kanina, which is 62.64. Mm -hmm. 62.648. So, you'll get, no? So, 0.648. So, you'll get something. So, calculate natin. So, para mabilis. 0.8357 times 62.64. So, you'll get 52. So, 52.3550 millimeters. So, substitute na natin dito. So, A is 52.3550 all over 2. Sorry na, pasensya na. Medyo malabi yung, yung sign pen na, yung marker natin. Ayan. Ayan. So, you'll get. So, ito na yung calculation natin. So, substitute sa calcium. So, you'll get. So, you'll get phi m n equals So, pag pinasok niya sa calcio, you'll get phi m n is 124.9075 kilonewton meters. Yan. So, final answer for the capacity of rain yun. Simply reinforced rain beams natin. Okay? So, if you have... Yan. So, I hope may 
nasundan niya itong concept na to. If may parts na nalabuan kayo, you can skip to certain parts of this video. And pag mas nalabuan pa kayo, uh, you can always comment on the video. So, you can also message me on FB, okay, on my page. You can also subscribe me on my YouTube channel. And you can also join the wonderful group Civil Engineering Board Exam Problems Philippines. Okay. So, next week siguro, so magdi-discuss na ako ng mga numerical methods. So, especially for the May 2020 takers, no? Na gagana, hindi na pwedeng na nagagamit na ng mga bagong sets ng calculus natin. Okay? So, so that's it for today. So, uh, good morning everyone and have a nice day mga engineers.